Hi, my name is Julius Koivistoinen. I'm a cinematographer and the developer of MidiGrade. MidiGrade is a controller solution for DaVinci Resolve, built to be used either with a DJ instrument called MIDI Fighter Twister, or you can take control of your favorite color grading software in a brand new and exciting way using just your keyboard and mouse or trackpad. MidiGrade takes control of your mouse cursor and with lighting fast speed clicks through different menus and sliders in the Resolve color page to make adjustments that would otherwise be tedious to do with the default method using just your mouse or you would need to invest in an expensive controller which tend to range to thousands of dollars in their prices. This right here is the solution to both of these problems. I came up with MidiGrade's concept in 2015 after doing some tests for a similar effect. Investigating this subject further, I found this MIDI controller, which ended up being the perfect fit for my needs. Thanks to its 4x4 knob layout, the knobs not having hard stops, you can use them as buttons too, and most importantly the fact that you can enter up to four different banks, which each open up a completely new set of functions for each knob. So basically this light and extremely compact device is actually 64 turnable knobs and 64 buttons which is incredibly convenient. That's something I definitely made sure to take advantage of as much as possible. So MidiGrade includes the control of a whopping 113 unique functions inside DaVinci Resolve built into different categories. There's Bank 1, which includes all the necessary power window controls, forward and backwards tracking, a feature called passive mouse control, and key output gain for controlling node opacity. Bank 2 controls hue saturation luminance qualifier, which I think is one of the most powerful features inside Resolve. Bank 3 covers a wide range of different primary color adjustments from pages 1 and 2, the soft clip function found in curves menu, and low and high range for log mode for color wheels. And Bank 4 has all the functions found in primary bars. If you take advantage of the MIDI Crates keyboard functionality, there's actually yet another set of controls. Using Bank 5, you can conveniently toggle between the different primary color wheels and lock color wheels, including Luma sliders. And we're just a little over halfway there into all the controls. Each bank features set of controls part unique depending on the bank and part universal for conveniently having the most commonly used shortcuts at your fingertips at all times. These include toggling between nodes, adding different kinds of nodes, toggling grades on and off, playback controls, and undo. Finally, there's a menu called the functions menu, which has yet another set of functions, including keyframe controls, browsing through clips, additional node controls, and more. To top things off, a bonus feature is available for most adjustments. With it, you can reset sliders and controls to their default value, which can be very helpful when you can't use undo for that same effect. MidiGrade was first published in 2016, and it has come a long way since then. Little by little, it has received lots of new features, and I've made sure to keep it up to date with the newest DaVinci Resolve releases. It has been built having the professional needs in mind, yet keeping the usability simple enough for you to get hang of it relatively quickly. Also, don't let the modest looks fool you, since there's huge amounts of potential built in which you can eventually even build upon by combining MidiGrade with another controller and still continue using it. So that's MidiGrade in a nutshell. To find more info and to purchase it, please head over to MidiGrade.com. I hope this was helpful and wish you happy grading. Thanks for watching.